Hi, I'm Michelle Martellera and I'm the Protection, Gender and Inclusion Delegate with the Canadian Red Cross and our Health ERU. My role here is to do some of the specific adjustments with our actual ERU site. So that involves some small adjustments, making sure that our services are inclusive for all of the patients that we might see and they take account, take into account the groups that might be most vulnerable. So for us here in Honduras, that does include women, children, people with disabilities, um, and other marginalized groups who might not have literacy and who would need some extra support when they come and visit our clinic. So we're here in front of the bathrooms and there's a reason that we think so much about bathrooms in these spaces. It's really important for safety, for privacy and for dignity for everyone, but especially groups that are most vulnerable. So for example, we've heard from the Ministry of Health here that in the shelters, most of the sexual abuse and violence is happening in the bathrooms to the women and girls. They are being um, taken into the bathrooms. There's no oversight of them. So there's a lot of trauma potentially coming from those areas. So what I have requested is that we have three different types of bathrooms here. We have one for men, one for women, and one that's a family-sized bathroom that's also accessible for anyone who has a disability. So this gives us a lot of options for our patients so that they have more privacy and dignity. Um, parents and their children can go into a bathroom together if they need to, and women have their own separate private spaces. What I'm asking today is to separate the women's and men's bathrooms even more. And the reason we're doing that is so that they have that space they are separated and there's no possibility for women to feel ins insecure or like or that they don't have privacy from men and given what they may have experienced in some of the shelters i think this is a priority for us so we've asked some of our um support staff here to help us move them which they are doing right now and here we go i think we're going to start so one of the things that we're doing in the ERU is to make sure that the site itself is inclusive and that we're able to give support to the people that we're serving. So one of the things that I'll be doing is inside the bathroom door of the women's bathroom is putting a list of referrals and services where women can find help for sexual and gender-based violence, referrals for if they have suffered a domestic abuse. And so with, when we put that inside the women's bathroom on a discreet location, it allows women to have the privacy to, to see those resources and to choose for themselves if they need to refer to make a report. 